Hi, it's Sarah here. Today I'm going to show you how I do this faux tar technique, which I know a lot of you have shown interest in. I've had these projects on my Facebook page and shown you some of the projects the ladies have done in my class. Um, many of you have bought the paints as well, but still unsure what to do, so hopefully this will help you. But these are two projects that I've done, and as you can see, when you do the technique, it actually makes the items look as if they're metal, makes them look very, very solid. So I'm going to take you through the items that you need and how to do it. So these are some of the items that you can use to do this project on. So here are some plywood bottle holders and I use the little one in my project that you saw a little bit earlier. I've got here a wooden money box that uh, one of my crafting ladies gave me, which I'm going to do the technique on. I have here a canvas, um, a little box that I've, I've got that, I've made, uh, that I've put together. I have here some wooden frames, you can do it on, some paper mache blocks, a paper mache a tissue box. So lots and lots of uh, items that you can use to do this project on. Right, so these are the ingredients really for the project that you're going to be using. So we've got cardstock and it's a great way of using all your odd bits and pieces of card that you, you don't use or don't like. These ones I've actually put through the embossing folders, so you're going to use those because they'll add a bit of texture. I've got some die cut shapes, and even ones that perhaps when you've cut and they haven't come out very well, that's fine, you can use those. So I've got my dies there. I've got my non-stick matter I'm going to use on and, and use with my paints as well. I've got some wooden embellishments there that I can use to stick on. Um, I have got buttons, those can all go on it. Um, my, sorry, my cosmic shimmer glue that I shall use to stick everything down with. And then I've got my black acrylic paint. And here is just a small selection of the colours of the cosmic shimmer paints that I can get um, and that we'll be using in our project. And then to uh, apply the paints, what I've done is I've gone to the cheap pan shops and I've bought these cheap makeup sponges and they're perfect for using to apply the paint. So those are all the ingredients that we'll be using today. So I've got a couple of projects on the go at the moment. This is one of them, it's um, a paper mache uh, tissue box. So what I've done here is, with the cardstock, I've embossed it through the embossing folder and I've just stuck it down on a couple of the sides with my glue. You can use PVA glue at this stage to, to stick these bits down, but when it comes to the actual embellishments, I would recommend using the Cosmic Shimmer. So now we're at the stage where we're going to add our, our die cuts. Now, as you can see, some of these were, were die cuts that I'd done that didn't really turn out very well, but they're perfect for this project. So all I'm going to do is with my Cosmic Shimmer Glue, I'm just going to dot around and just stick this on. And then I can trim the edges off later when it's all dried. So just a little bit more. And you can see with the glue, you don't need a lot and it's a very strong glue if you've used it before you'll know. That flower perfect, it didn't cut very well but it'll go lovely on the, the edge there. So a bit of glue again, pop that on there. I've got a few buttons here I'm just going to stick on randomly. That's one there, a couple more buttons. Again if you've got um, old shirts or something before you throw them away, you know what us crafters are like, we like to save everything so just going to add another little die cut flower in the middle of that and perhaps a, a button on there. I've got some uh, self adhesive gems here that again I bought from a pound shop. So I'm just going to stick one of those on. Let's pop that one there. So I'll stick, I've got another little heart there, pop, pop that on, oops, oops the daisy, that one's going to stick to me instead. Okay, so that's, that is very quickly and roughly um, some of the, the embellishments stuck on. So like I said, when that's dried, I'll just trim that off and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so here's another project that I've already got everything stuck down and it's dried. And as you can see, again, I've got some die cuts, I've got some emboss card on top of this paper mache heart. I've stuck a penny on buttons, gems, and a little wooden um, butterfly button. So now I'm going to use my uh, non-stick mat, which is great for, for your paint. 
I've put a bit of the black acrylic paint on there and with my cheap makeup sponge I'm just going to pick up a bit of it and I'm just going to dab it all over. Now obviously when you look at this you think oh my goodness look at those bright colours and you know how awful does it look but it'll be quite transformed when you've finished. So I'm just going to go all over with my paint. Just dabbing it all over. Now I've put them um, latex gloves on, you don't need to, I'm to be honest I don't normally but if you're somebody who doesn't like getting the paint all over you then this will keep your fingers nice and clean. Okay so I'm going to go around like that. I also just go around the edges and of course you can go over the back if you want to as well. Okay and then as you can see there are some like gaps underneath there you could use a fine uh, paintbrush just to fill those bits in. So here are the projects now after they've been covered in the black, black acrylic paint and as you can see they do look quite different and I think they look quite solid but you can see the texture coming through from the embossed um, cardstock underneath um, and all the different layers on there. So our next stage will be to add the cosmic shimmer paints and that's the exciting part. Okay so now I'm going to show you two ways of applying the cosmic shimmer paints. So the first way is using the sponges. So I've just put little amounts of the paints straight onto my mat which is great because then all we do afterwards is just wipe it all off so i'm going to go for perhaps a bit of the green color and with my sponge i'm just going to dab it on can you see how that's going already and you just choose the areas that you want to dab a bit of your paints so i shall go around like that pick up a bit of the yellow and of course when you overlap the colours slightly they will start to blend in with each other. Go for a bit of the bright pink. Just dab that over like that. And uh, might perhaps go for a bit of silver now. Then you can start to fill in the spaces that you've got. Obviously you decide how many colours you want to use, you can use two, well you can use one colour really if you wanted to, but you can use two, you can use as many as you like, just to, depending on the kind of effect you want to go for. Um, I've just got a bit of a blob of pink there, so I'm just going to try and blend that in. Now what I'm going to do is, I think I might add now a bit of the, the pearl, see just in places, and I'm, what I'm doing with the pearl is I'm just trying to dab the pearl slightly over where I've got two other colours just to help them sort of blend in a little bit better. So if you can see how that's going there. Let's have a look, see how that is. And what, what it also does is if you've got a very bright colour, it just tones it down a little bit. I think I might go over the buttons a little bit more with maybe a bit of the silver. Let's see how that goes. Okay, let's go back to a bit of the white again just to tone it in. Just dabbing as you go. Now you can build up the colour as much as you like, but I think I'm going to leave it at that. And as you can see, it didn't take long at all. And that's your finished item. Okay, so this is another technique I'm going to show you using a paintbrush. It's a, a technique that one of the ladies who comes to my Saturday classes showed me. I've got some kitchen roll, which I've got bunched up into a sort of mushroom shape. I've picked up some of the paint and I've just brushed it onto the tissue. And it's almost as if you're taking it off. And then this is what you do. You just brush across. That might take off a little bit more because I've perhaps got too much on there. You just brush across. And what it does is it gives it a bit more of a, a tarnished look. And as you can see, that bit of uh, paint that I had on my brush is actually going quite away. But can you see how it's giving that sort of tarnished look to the project? So I'm just going over all of it with what's left on my brush. All the way around. And that basically is that. So that's the project. So as you can see, it's actually very quick and easy to do. Great way to use up all your scraps of card, your die cut pieces that uh, didn't cut very well, odd bits of buttons and things that you've got lying around. As you can see as well, the paint goes a long way. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to seeing all, all the projects that you do. So I hope you'll contact me on Facebook or email me with your projects. Um, and hopefully I'll be doing some more videos soon. And also a thank you to my son Daniel, who is a professional uh, photographer and cameraman. And he's done the video for me. So thank you, Daniel.